Welcome to Shortcuts Roulette. We pick a shortcut completely at random. I explain it for two minutes, completely without preparation, and then I decide if I'm gonna keep it or ditch it. Let's get started. Running my Shortcuts Roulette shortcut. Today I'll be explaining my markdown to rich text format from clipboard shortcut. Wow, this is embarrassing. See all those little blank spots in there? That's, that's where there should be a variable and it should connect the different actions, but it's not because I haven't used this shortcut in a hot minute apparently, um, or otherwise the things would all work and be connected. Uh, this has happened with a couple of operating system updates of various kinds over the years. The previous ones just need to be reconnected, but I'll tell you what it does anyway, because it's actually a really useful shortcut. I just haven't used it in a while. Markdown is something where you write out some symbols instead of formatting like italics or bold or a header. And then it can format into a web page or a rich text format and actually have some formatting. But you don't need to format while you're writing. Anyway, I write something in Markdown and copy it to the clipboard and I want to quickly change it into rich text. Maybe I'm sending it an email. Maybe it needs to go into some document I'm sharing with somebody and be all fancy. Who knows? But I definitely used this quite a few times before. I'll tell you what the shortcut is supposed to do instead of what it currently does, which is nothing. What the shortcut is supposed to do is get the clipboard, convert from markdown into rich text, and then go back to the clipboard. Then you can paste it anywhere. It can go into a Word document, a pages document, some email I'm writing and I want it all pretty formatted, or even some WYSIWYG editor like a web page. A lot of those will work too with rich text format. And this was intended to just be a very general use. I have markdown, I need rich text, which is why it goes to the clipboard. It wasn't for a particular use, it was a generic, I need a converter. And then it was just ready to go until the update. All right, let's run the shortcut that doesn't work. Yeah, sure, you can use the clipboard. Running didn't do very much, did it? It didn't give me an error either though, which I find weird. So despite all that, I am going to keep it, but I will update it for you really quickly so that it will be available in the description. I'm starting to see why nobody else has done this before. It's a little bit embarrassing for people to see your actual shortcuts in the actual shape they're in. It's a little bit like giving strangers on the internet a tour of your messy closet without any warning. That's the shortcut. It's very useful when it works. Did this shortcut give you any ideas? If you had thoughts about things you could use it for, let me know in the comments. Until next time. Running my shortcuts roulette shortcut. Really? Really? We're still doing this?